Across the straits there in southern Labrador, there is a great ghost story involving a keg of rum, a captain, and a lighthouse. The Point Amour Lighthouse, to be precise, it stands guard over the Strait of Belle Isle. Beautiful in sunlight, romantic at dusk, but deadly in the darkness. That's where our story begins, in a gale of wind and rain and fog, one night in 1860 or so. A Nova Scotia sea captain by the name of Johnson was beating his way down the coast looking for the light, but it wasn't there. Wally Campbell. The lighthouse keeper. I guess maybe had just received his yearly supply of uh, rum, which came in great big oak casks. And <clears throat> well, I guess he decided to drink up a year's supply in one night. Now, the unfortunate thing was, you know, back in those days, the, uh, the light was uh, fueled by oil. And the oil had to be manually carried up the, the what, 139 steps to the top of the lighthouse. And uh, unfortunately, the lighthouse keeper was unable to make it, and the, and the light went out. Captain Johnson struck the rocks and perished along with his crew. But it said the captain could not, cannot rest. As the legend has it, uh, Captain Johnson, uh, on wild and stormy nights, uh, reappears at the lighthouse. And the apparition, I guess, is dressed in yellow oilskins with wrapped in the anchor chain, and he clanks around the what is now the deserted side of the house, where nobody had lived for many, many years. And I guess he's looking for the lighthouse keeper. Campbell first heard the story years ago when he brought a group of university students up to the lighthouse to stay for the summer. Hey, hello there. Hi there. Stuart Hancock knows all about Captain Johnson, so does Max Shepard. Between the two of them, they've spent thousands of nights together and alone keeping the light. So Max, you believe in ghosts or what? Me? I've never seen one, but... Do you never. believe in them? No, I don't. I don't believe in them. And that's about as much as you'll get out of Max. No ghosts in the lighthouse, he says. Well, Stuart, Max won't admit to it, but surely you saw Captain Johnson. No. I might have heard him, but I didn't see him. <laughs> 30 years, never laid eyes on him. <laughs> no. You think he exists? Oh, well, depends if you're superstitious or not. Wally Campbell says his students sure believed. I've heard uh, on numerous occasions the students in the old side of the house yelling out that uh, I'm not the lighthouse keeper. And as far as I'm concerned, I may have whispered it once or twice, but I've never spoken it quite aloud. One dark and stormy night. <laughs> One dark and stormy night, <laughs> right? The funny thing is, whenever Wally and his students thought they saw the ghost of Captain Johnson, Max was there too. Max? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this time it was Max, but Wally Campbell says there are lots of other people who believe the ghost of Captain Johnson is very real. I think the test would be that if you ask the locals if they believe that story or not, they would probably say no. But then ask them if they would mind spending the night in the lighthouse, and you'll leave a camera on all night, and I don't think you'll find too many takers. One last thing. A few years ago, a woman came to the Point of More Lighthouse, a woman who was said to be in touch with the other side, the spirit world. She knew nothing of Captain Johnson, but upon seeing the lighthouse, felt compelled to paint what she saw on a rock. Max Shepard has kept it all these years. This is what she saw. Remember, if you have to spend the night, just keep saying out loud, I am not the lighthouse keeper. I'm Red Sharon. Sleep well.